Let's talk about your plans for the rest of this year. I, everyone knows the news has just been so crazy. Worlds is off. Worlds is back on. You know, everyone has their different focuses. We've heard um, statements from from Swimming Australia saying, "Here's our focus." Um, what's your summer looking like? You know, long term for this year. Uh, what are your goals heading into the rest of 2022 in terms of Are you going to be at World Champs? Are you going to be at Com Games? Yeah, it's been it's been a whirlwind. I think since um, obviously I pulled out a world short course to have shoulder surgery, I came home, had the surgery, uh, got straight back in the pool, uh, and and tried to push it because Worlds was supposed to be in April. So, kind of got back in, started pushing, started going for it. Worlds got cancelled, and then I kind of went, oh, I would really love a break. Like I haven't had a break since March two thousand and twenty. I've pushed through for the last two years. I, I didn't have any break over Christmas, New Year's. Haven't been home to see family and friends in two years. So for me, that news of world championships being cancelled kind of, you know, put it into perspective that, hey, I could have a little break now. So, um, you know, obviously for me, my biggest uh, goal and uh, what I'm working towards now is Paris. Like Paris is what I want to win. So for me, it's like if I have this break and a little bit of a timeout now, uh, I know that I'm going to be successful in Paris because I'm not going to get a year's down the track and be like, oh, I'm feeling burnt out. I need to have some time off with my friends and family. So for me, it's the perfect time, perfect opportunity to just unwind a little bit, have a real hard reset on everything. Obviously, the last two years has been overwhelming in so many ways. Um, two shoulder surgeries, uh, getting a silver medal by 0.06 of a second, breaking a world record, the Olympics being postponed and back on. Like, There's been so many different challenges kind of thrown at me that I as a, as a swimmer and as, as an athlete, you bottle everything up and never kind of work through it in that period of time. You kind of just go, you push it aside to focus on that end goal, which is the Olympic Games. Uh, and then obviously I went straight from there to, to Europe to race for six months and then tried to get straight back into it. So for me, I'm just having a little bit of time out now. I've had a couple of weeks out of the water, um, which has been really good. I got to go home to the country and do some fishing with my cousins and uh, see my grandparents I haven't seen for a long time. And then on the weekend, I went to Melbourne to see my see a mate who was his Bucks party, Josh Beaver, who used to swim. So it was good catching up with a lot of the older swimmers that I haven't seen in a long time. And um, now, now I'm back in Adelaide. Uh, I'll meet with my coach, Peter Bishop, this week at some stage and kind of come up with a bit more of a plan. But for me, Commonwealth Games is always is, is the main focus, obviously, there every four years. And I managed to win a few titles at the last one. Uh, unfortunately, lost the title that I was chasing the 100 freestyle of silver in so gives me more motivation to get back and do that and uh the world championship stuff's just been so so much of a whirlwind that it's kind of almost turned me off of it a little bit but um if my coach decides that's what's going to be best for me to to be successful in paris then that's what we'll do but i think for me it's about having probably a little bit more of a relaxed year to get my shoulders and body completely right get my mind completely right and um and then start that real massive push for Paris and hopefully my body um, responds quite well that it gives me more than six months of preparation this time and I'm able to have two years of preparation that would be beautiful.